We've heard from the drivers. Now let's hear from the men behind the design and development of this new Ferrari SF16H. Technical Director James Allison, Director of Power Unit Mattia Bonotto, and Chief Designer Simone Resta. your new baby well this is a very very exciting day for us not just because we have the pleasure and the privilege of showing the whole world what we've been doing for the last year but also because believe it or not this is actually the first day that we see the finished product in front of us fully ready to go we've seen it many many times first of all in our imagination on CAD screens on engine dynos in the wind tunnel in production but this, this morning, we see it for the first time along with all of you. And I have to say, looking at it today, I feel very, very happy, extremely proud of the work of all the people here at Maranello, and I can't wait to take it racing. I'd love to be able to show you all of the things that we've put into this car at a technical level. There isn't time for that, but what I can do is pass you over to Simone Resta, the chief designer, and to Mattia Benotto, head of the power unit, to tell you a bit more of the key features of our new Ferrari. Grazie, James. So, thank you very much, James. So, the project of this car started one year ago, and the direction uh, was very, very ambitious, and our goals were very, very ambitious. So, we tried to revisit and to review everything, all the parts. So what are the areas that we changed? So first one is uh, the nose and then the front suspension and also side parts, the power unit and also the rear end. Let's start from the nose. So today we have something which is quite different. So this level is higher, as you can see, and the airflow is quite different. This solution is slightly different from last year, and uh, uh, it is very important. It, is, it has got a very, very positive impact on our aerodynamics. After four years of, uh, uh, of pull road, we changed, and we have now a front suspension, so a push road. So it is quite different, and the weight is better, and the cinematics is also quite different. So it is a step forward compared to last year and the previous models. And another important part are the side parts, as you can see here. So the radiators are different here, and the body car is quite different from last year. We tried to take advantage of the cooling system. So power unit. Power unit. We cannot say it because it is covered by the body, the car body, but it is at the center of the car and it is the heart, the beating heart of our car. Compared to last season, we worked above all on two areas. First of all, encumbrance and architecture. So we tried to compact them in order to have a positive impact on aerodynamics. So the car is tighter and narrower compared to last year, so we tried to displace, we tried to move all the accessories and encumbrance is reduced, was reduced, but we did not work only on architecture, but we also tried to improve combustion, for example, and inlet aspiration, for example, and also the turbo. But this is a first step compared to the past, a step forward. So we made very important technical choices and very, very innovative choices. As Mattia said, the team plays very, very important. It was a great work. So we carried out a great job and all the men working at the power unit department worked together. So we created this line at the rear end which is quite different from last year, but we also worked on the front end. So we tried to optimize, for example, the weight and also aerodynamics and airflow. So these were our goals and objectives. In the last slide, we can take a look at this part, the rear end. There's a detail of the suspension and of the, of the bottom part of the car. Alison, Mattia Binotto and Simone Resta, please stay with us. 